that love you sugar and to where you send me signs welcome to my channel today i want to do two things for you i want to give an update on my interior decorating business and i also want to show the finished product of the table napkin trimming me and fruity pineapple had a great time last week trimming out some table napkins that were very plain and we made them look spectacular so i want to finish that tablescape for you but before i get started with the update and those um after pictures i just want to welcome you to my channel if you are new and you like the content please feel free to join subscribe hit the notification bell i upload a video every sunday so i want you to stay tuned for that and also welcome back to those who are already subscribed part of the family i'm always excited about you know if you like what you're looking at please feel free to leave some comments and what you want to see i also have a, re a request on um napkin rings i haven't found any that i could actually create i'm working on it diligently <laughs> and so is my production assistant. We've been trying to rack our brains on how can we create these ourselves. Um, but I can show you how to use them. But I will be finding a way to create your own. At least embellish a plain one for a good price. And then feel free to put something on it. But anyway, let's get started. About two months ago, I let you know that I had finished my interior decorating course with the International Association uh, professional professional interior decorators and I'm very excited about that and I also finished one with interior design and home styling that is an accredited institution so I can kind of give you a little I put them in some frames so um, just a little quick show um, anyway I'm ready to put them up on the wall I've been redesigning my home office I work from home and so I have one side for work on an executive desk with the return and I also have my home computer on the other side so I've upgraded and now I'm able to really work on my editing and uh, do some other things besides working from my iPhone and my iPad I could do a lot but now I'll be able to really get into the editing portion so I'm excited about that so I'm gonna get that computer all put together this week, I'm gonna do some this afternoon, so I'm looking forward to coming to you with a better editing. Perhaps in the future, you'll be able to notice the difference, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm excited about the certifications. I wanted to go to an interior design school, a four-year college, and finish my bachelor's degree. I'm halfway done, and it would, it would have been great to finish that out and interior design but it proved to be very expensive I'm like at least starting around twenty thousand dollars now it doesn't take a degree to become an interior decorator it takes talent and just the know-how and a passion for it and also in the de interior design piece uh, it's accredited and I am certified which would allow me to go to trade shows and help my clients do sourcing and all of that good stuff but an interior designer is where they're they're trained to tear a building down, build one up. They know the building codes. They know how to work with all kinds of plants. They know how to do the AutoCAD where they're making drawings for you. A lot of that what you see on HGTV. And that's really what I wanted. I, I might still do it. <laughs> you know, somebody might want to give me a scholarship <laughs> to go to one of my uh, schools. But at this point, my hours of work, it's like, to me, I say the middle of the day. So any given day, I'm working from 10.30 to 7 p.m. or 9.30 to 6 p.m. So classes have already been gone. If there is actually an in-school class where I could actually sit in class, it usually starts at 5 or 6. So it's not working in my favor for that. And it actually worked out because this way I learned a little bit. I learned at a very high level everything that an interior designer would learn, but I wasn't handing in assignments. I wasn't sitting in the classroom with the designer or instructor to make sure I'm grasping how to use the three-sided ruler, but I know what they have to do. So, and I was tested. It was a lot of testing and I did pass with distinguished as distinguished. So, uh, with distinction. <laughs> so anyway, I'm happy about that. But I did speak to an interior decorator who's actually 
retiring, but she uh, is a part of the staff that wrote the curriculum for the one course that I took. So just to sit and pick her brain and show her some of the things I've already done, and she actually liked it. So, you know, it's a very exciting time. And I'm ready to start my business uh, just with the home styling. I've done a few homes. Actually, I'm helping my son way in another state uh, just do some things, sourcing some things for them uh, to get their new home in order. And, and my daughter, you know, and whoever, friends, I'm always doing that. Been doing that for a long time, but I'm trying to take it to another level. And it's out there. I feel like I'm out there and I'm like, where are we going? You know, it's okay. I don't need to be paid or, you know, if I'm paid, I'm like, yay, that was great. But I know it's growing beyond me. And I'm also adding real estate. Now I have been uh, enrolled <laughs> in a licensed real estate course for two years and I've not successfully finished because I had uh, a Bible school to attend in 2017 and 18 and I just could not devote the hours. And then I started class uh, also to finish my degree. So now I'm actually going to get that course finished and I already have my broker. I'm so waiting to work with uh, my new broker and eventually I'm going to get that license and it's going to be in the next few months and I'm I, but the one thing I can say is I'm becoming co comfortable with my course when I say that I'm comfortable with my pace because the actual class I'm taking is called at your own pace <laughs> and it's like I can't rush the process. I have to enjoy the journey and trust the Lord as I'm going. Uh, so I'm not thrown off. You know, I have to stay focused. I have to stay focused on my purpose, stay in a positive lane and meet whatever roadblock I might have and work through it. And if that door opens, I'm going to run through. And I've had some open doors, like I said, to do the certifications and now I'm at my own pace, so I don't have to rush and get through in so many months or I've wasted my money. And that's happened twice. But it's okay because uh, I'm doing it again and I'm excited. Third time's a charm. <laughs> so I am grateful for the course and uh, I want you to stay tuned and we're going to get through this. And you cheering me on. I just thank you for those comments. Even offline, it's so encouraging. So stay tuned for that. And so now we're going to get ready with that finished product of the table napkins. Now, I got these napkins at Pier 1. They were just a white linen and I put some gold shimmery elastic trim with liquid stitch. I still have it here. I finished it up. This right here is amazing. Let me tell you. You can do a lot it, without having to have your needle and thread. And so, um, it turned out really wonderful. And I'm thinking, hey, I was panicking like, well, if Pier 1 goes out of business, where am I going to get my embellished napkins from? Well, I can get them from there. I actually was in Hobby Lobby and I'm like, this is good, but I can do this and I can actually enhance it. So if you're one that can pop out the sewing machine and actually sew your napkins and then get you some trim, that's even better. But right now I'm getting ready-made napkins and I'm just adding the trim. So I hope you enjoy it. You know, it was a labor of love. I enjoyed doing it and bringing you what that tablescape is going to look like. So enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll be back with the after pictures. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll be back. Okay, family. So here is the tablescape. The color scheme started with that painting, Jazz. I wanted to invite the other mustard colors in the room, including the trim from the napkins. I thought it partnered really well with my mud cloth and my African pieces. I think it did really well together. I wanted to showcase the gold, the wood, the mud cloth scarf. I've been carrying that since last winter. I also added the zebra pillows in the chairs just to give a little extra texture and a little extra color. I also matched that the drapery 
that we saw last week and that's in the flax yellow. Well, that's the tablescape. I hope you like my version of fall and I'd like you to enjoy this fall season, harvest, autumn. Let's just enjoy it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.